Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to add chart labels in the Thinkorswim trading platform. And specifically, today we're going to be adding the IV percentile ranking, which is awesome if you trade options. And then also we're going to be adding the ATR chart label, which stands for average true range, which is also an incredible tool in understanding what the true range is of a stock when you're selling options outside of those expected ranges. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, welcome back to all of our subscribers. Uh, we really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching our videos. And if this is your first time here, my name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading, and we make videos just like you see here on a consistent basis. We talk about the stock market, we talk about options trading, we talk about think or swim like we are today. And uh, if you haven't already, I hope you'll consider clicking this button right up here and subscribing to our channel. And uh, if you'd like to get notified every time we put out a new video, make sure you click that bell so that you don't miss out on any future content. All right, let's jump right in, you guys. Hey guys, we are inside the Thinkorswim trading platform, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to set up these labels that you see in the upper left-hand corner of my chart. Now, this video was actually sparked by a viewer of mine that uh, commented on a video that I made a while back uh, that says, this is from Rex. Rex, thanks so much for the question. Uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this video and hopefully this answers your questions. But Rex's question was, how do I get the IV percentile and the ATR bubbles on my chart that you have in the upper left, just below the ticker symbol? Thank you. So anyway, thanks so much, Rex, for that question. Hopefully by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to understand and, and uh, understand how to place these labels on your chart. Now, in my case, I have three labels on my chart. I have two ATR labels and one IV percentile label. Now, in Thinkorswim, there's multiple labels that you can add, and if you have the script for it, you can add those in. And I'm gonna show you guys how to add these labels based on a uh, script that you have and how you can label these labels and, and make them whatever you want. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So up in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a little beaker symbol right up here. Now we're going to just going to go ahead and click on that beaker symbol. That's going to open up this edit studies and strategies window. Now we're going to be adding a new label. So we need to create that label. Uh, otherwise, everything else is our, that's created is already right here in the left side. Whether that is, you know, made by Thinkorswim or labels or studies or strategies that you have already made, those are already right here in this column. So we need to make a new label. So we're gonna go ahead and create a label. So it opens up this window. And first thing we need to do is delete the information that is already in here, that's already pre-populated in here. Now we can do that one of two ways. We can just highlight it right here and then just hit the backspace and delete it. Or we can come in here to conditions wizard and just click delete. Now you can see when I click delete, when I come back over on this side, it's gonna be gone. So we're gonna come back in here and click delete and then we'll come in here and that'll be gone. And that'll be the same thing as just highlighting that and hitting the backspace just so we have a nice clean slate here to work with. Now, if you have script uh, of your label, uh, which which is everywhere. If you do searches for certain labels online, you'll be able to find certain scripts, and then you can add them into your your chart, just like I'm going to show you, just like I'm going to show you here. So I have a, a script here for the IV percentile. So I'm going to bring that over here, and what we need to do is just copy this script and paste it into that window. So what I usually do is I just hit select all, uh, you know, right click select all. That way I don't miss any parentheses. Uh, dots, anything like that. Now I'm just gonna come back in, right click and control copy. Now that just copied it to my clipboard. Now I'm gonna come back into my window here and I'm just gonna hit paste, uh, right click paste or even just control V. Uh, that's gonna paste that right in there. Now we need to label this whatever we want it to. So it's just gonna automatically label it new study 11, new study 12 every time we add a new study in here. So. I wanna label this something so that I know what it is when I'm searching for it in my uh, menu of strategies and uh, uh, studies that I have in that left-hand column. So let's name it, uh, since I already have an IV percentile, let's just name this IV test. Okay, so we're gonna name this IV test and we know that for this video, that's IV test, but if you wanted to label it IV percentile or 
whatever you wanted to label it as, you sure could. So we're gonna label it IV test. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And you can see that as I, right after I clicked IV test, it added it into the studies and the strategies that I have on my, on my chart uh, currently. So you can see right here, all these strategies and studies are what I currently have on my chart. We have the exponential moving average, the eight, the 21, we have two ATR chart labels, and then we have my IV chart label that I already have up there. And now we have this one. And when I click apply, what that's gonna do is it's gonna add everything that's in here, which if it's not already in here, it's gonna go ahead and add it to the chart. So watch right up here in this corner, and you'll be able to see that when I click apply, it's going to go ahead and add another IV percentile label there. So that's really all you gotta do, you guys, is you take that script, you add it into this window right here. Uh, of course, we we just did it with, you know, hitting create, which will open up a new window. But let's say you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to edit this or whatever, you could click on this little script right here, open that up and it's going, going to open up the script that you already have in there. And, and of course, there's our label that we made. Um, now, another key thing to uh, to look at here is when you're looking at these uh, s strategies and studies here, if you look at this little column right here, you can see that some of these scripts are open and some of them have locks. And so if they're open, that means that either you made that script yourself, um, you added that in yourself, or it's editable. Um, these that are locked are most likely from Thinkorswim and they're locked, so you cannot edit the uh, exponential moving average, uh, the eight and the 21. You can just go in there and change those, but you can't edit the, the script itself. Uh, what I mean by changing them, you can come in here and click the gear and you can change what the length is, but you cannot change the, the script itself. It won't allow you to come in here and change that script. It won't allow you to save it. It'll let you look at it, but you cannot save it. So hopefully that, that helps you in understanding how to add those chart labels. So, you know, I don't need that IV uh, percentile on there, that second one. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that off and I'm going to click apply. Okay. And you can see that it took it off there. So that's really all you got to do to add that on. And what I'm going to do guys is in the uh, description of this video, I'm going to copy and paste this, uh, this script right here. And you can just follow those same instructions and add that into your thinkorswim platform uh, another thing i'm going to do for you guys is if you wanted to take my chart exactly the way it is right now uh, i could share that with you by just going like this i can click share and then when i click share what it does is it gives me this little this little code right up right here now what i'm going to do is take that code and i will paste that also into the description of the video and when you get that code, when you see it in the description of the video, you, in order to activate that code, you can't just click on it. You need to copy that and paste it into Thinkorswim. And the way you do that is you come right up in here to uh, Setup and you go Open Shared Items. Now, in the description, you'll, you'll need to copy that little URL, that little link, and then you're gonna paste it right in here. Now, I already have that link uh, copied. So what I would do is just paste it right here in this window and click preview and now open. And when I open it, it's going to open up another window. And this is exactly what it's going to do on your uh, platform as well. It'll open up another window and it will have all of these uh, labels right up in the corner already set up for you. And it'll have everything exactly set up like this. And then, you know, you can come back in here again and you'll see those right there and you can come in and save those however however you want to do you can you can relabel those rename those whatever you want and click ok and uh, it'll save it into your list here of studies uh, and you can do it however you want so uh, i'm going to add both of those in there for you guys just so that you'll have them you'll have the link that will be able to pull up that chart exactly or this script that you see right here will also be down there and you can copy that as well. Same thing with the uh, the ATR. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the ATR script and I'm gonna add that ATR script into the description of the video itself as well. 
Hey guys, if this video has been helpful, I hope you'll consider giving it a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. We make videos like this on a consistent basis and we'd love to hear from you and connect with you. If you have any comments, post them in the comment section below. If you have any ideas for videos that you'd like to see, uh, post them in the comment section below too. We'd love to make a video for you. Again, my name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading. Thanks so much for watching you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.